So, Princess Axella herself has come, with Draco Machina in tow. This was the Empire's true objective. The troops in the crags were just a grand diversion. And we took the bait. The Dragoneers, and half our standing military out in the field. We've been tactically outplayed. They're forgetting, though. There's still one Dragoneer left in this city. One left? You don't mean Majesty. You can't go out there yourself. A little credit, Burroughs. I still have some fight left in me. What are you saying? Your injuries. You can't fight the way you used to. Then who, if not I? Who else can stand up to the Draco Machina? I know you. No warrior, <laughs> no army could match you and the Knights of Astoria. But this is no army of man. The Armonics are the only hope we have against the Draco Machina. But Majesty... Burroughs, I know I cannot win as I am now. But that changes nothing. I must go. Even if it costs me my life, I must keep hope alive for our people. A fitting final duty. Wouldn't you agree? Albert, my king. Let me go, Burroughs. This is who I was born to be. Fine. I can see you're stubborn as ever. I'm in no position to stop you. But I can damn well stand at your side. Soldier! Sir! Instruct the townspeople to evacuate to the underground shelters. Tell them to hold out until the Dragoneers return. My king, I'm with you to the end. My thanks, old friend. Bring me my harmonic. Anyone who can wield a sword, follow me! As long as there is life in our bodies, the Empire shall not lay a hand on the Dragon Soul, or on our fair city! It shouldn't take long before the King of Astoria's next move. Though with the Dragoneers gone, he has little choice. Is that? Ah, I'd forgotten the King of Astoria was quite the Dragoneer in his prime. I suppose he won't surrender that easily. Well, in that case... Well met, Knight of the Storm, Albert Blanche. Well met. You have heard my terms. What say you? You'll have to forgive me, Your Highness. Words tend to fail me in situations like this. So instead... My harmonic shall answer for me! <laughs> and the roar of my dragon shall serve as my reply. All troops march! Trishula, forward! Yes! Welcome. 
Take your pick. This one, please. This one, please. Take your pick. Take your pick. Have a nice day. Been spotted. Push over us. We've been spotted. We've been spotted. I shall be. You disappoint me, Knight of the Storm. Is that all? What happened to the skill you displayed in the beginning? It seems I've underestimated you, Dragon Princess. It's not too late. I will accept your surrender. I'm afraid not. My plan is almost complete. Your plan? You want to die as a proud Dragoneer? Then so be it. I will strike you down with the dignity you deserve. By my hands, your reign ends here. Ah! 
Father? Father! Hmm? The Dragoneers of Astoria. I'm surprised you made it through Georg's army. Sonia, I knew you would make it in time. Father! I see. So this was your plan. No! This can't be happening! Father! Father! Sonia, it's time for you to wake up. What? You are strong, Sonia. You cannot cling to me like a lost child. You don't need my protection. You are a protector. Father? I am no longer the Dragoneer I once was. You know what must be done, don't you? Yes, but Father... It is time I entrusted you with this. This is your harmonic? But I... It's all right. You must use it. I know you are worthy. What? I can no longer play the songs. And now, that duty falls to you. Use this power and protect Astoria. You love this land and its people more than anyone else. You can do this. I know the harmonic will answer your call. I will protect Astoria and the people who call it home. Yes, I have to protect them. Like my father always did, with this harmonic. Yes, that is your destiny. Father. <sighs> I understand. Father, no. Dragoneer Albert, I will take up your mantle. I will protect my people. People of Astoria, hear me! The night of the storm has fallen. The Armonic has lost its master. But I will carry on his ideals and his legacy. I will stand for the people of Astoria. I will be your shield. Heed my call, Armonic. Unite us in purpose and power! <laughs> I can feel the power! The harmonic is with me! I am Sonia Blanche, the Dragoneer! I am blood of the Astorian King and wielder of Draconic Melody! I am Thunder, and I am the flash of light that splits the sky! I am the heir of the storm! The awakening of a new Dragoneer. I see. This is what the king risked his life to accomplish. Looks like the tables have turned, Excella. I haven't been one long, but I'm still a Dragoneer. I hope you're ready. Hmm. <laughs> ready indeed. It seems you present a genuine threat now. I suppose if you've awoken to some true power, I owe you my full strength and answer. Perhaps you remember what I told you before? You had not yet seen Trishula's ultimate power. What? Behold! The true strength of a dragon. Trishula, prepare yourself. Receive my power.
Understood. I can feel it. I can feel the power flow through me.
I'm sorry. Even after you granted me such power. No need for apology, Trishula. We have already won. What? King Albert sought to buy time, but we were doing the same. Beatrice! Is the soul of the Sky Dragon secure? Yep. More secure than before, really. With all the soldiers in the field, they had barely any guards. Easy pickings. But, Your Highness, with an army like that, couldn't you have just grabbed the soul in an all-out attack? A direct assault would have led to a great deal of unnecessary bloodshed. I would not claim victory by carnage. I much prefer subtlety. This way we avoid casualties on both our side and the Astorians, and still claim our prize. No! I didn't expect the Shining Dragon here, but perhaps this is a blessing in disguise. An opportunity to test my powers. You still want to fight? I've no need to test my martial ability. I could never capture a dragon through brute force. But I have other ways. Yuma? What's wrong? I can't... move. What? What's going on? <laughs> As I thought, the Armonics were made from the body of the Shining Dragon to control Draconic power. The Shining Dragon is still partially sealed as it is. With my Armonic and the power of a Diva Magica, I can control it. You have the powers of a Diva Magica? But how? The Empire has made great strides in occultic research. I have been artificially granted that ability. Shining Dragon, obey me. Wield your power in the Empire's name. This is different from the sound of everyone else's harmonics. It's like the feeling behind it is totally different. It's like the song is trying to trap me and force me to obey, just like how Marion was being controlled. I can't take this. This is a song of pure domination. Fools. However many years may pass, mortals never change. They blind themselves to past mistakes, repeating them again and again and again. I cannot allow this. Yuma? Hey, Yuma! His choker is... lighting up! The Shining Dragon. So this is the scope of its true power. Calm yourself, Shining Dragon. Obey me and become the fourth of my spears. Hear my song. Ah! 
Why do you rage so? Listen to my song. Listen to my harmonic. Calm your heart and... What? How? Dragon, I order you to calm. I play the music of a diva magica. Why won't you... I will not abandon you. Don't worry about me. Just go! <gasps> Whatever would you do without us, Trishula? What the... Gay Bog? Princess, time to leave. How did you get here? Sensed danger. We're escaping. Hurry! All right. Gabold, please carry Trishula. Beatrice, we're getting on Goomnir. Got it. Gabold, are you ready? Naturally. Hold on, Trishula. <sighs> Fine. Looks like they're gone. Yeah, but what about Yuma? I can feel an incredible amount of power coming from the Shining Dragon. Stronger than anything before. Kirika, we can be impressed later. Hey, Yuma, can you hear me? You gotta calm down. Pull yourself together. Yuma! He can't hear us? It's just like before. Yeah, but this time he's on a whole other level. We gotta get through to him somehow. Kirika? You want to... sing? But we already tried the power of the Diva Magica! No, Rina. This has nothing to do with my powers. I'm reaching out with my heart. Yuma needs to feel that we're here for him. Our friend Yuma is in there somewhere, and I know he can hear us. Yeah. We just gotta find him in there. You're right. Yeah. All right, Kirika. Everyone, let's do this. Hell yeah. I made that kid a promise. Ready anytime, Lady Kirika. Then let us begin. Yuma, please let my voice reach you. I understand how you feel. Excella tried to dominate the hearts of others, and you rage against her. But you must suppress that anger, or you will make a terrible mistake. Please, come back to us. Don't let yourself give in to your darker emotions. I'm gonna snap you out of this, just like I promised. So don't you give up, either. Yuma, wake up. Can you hear us? This is our song, and it's for you. Yuma, just calm down. Relax your mind. I'm right here with you. Yuma, I need you to hear this. Not just for me, but for Ed. So please, listen. Yuma, I know you can hear us. We dedicate this song to you. 
Please, return to yourself, Yuma. Please. These voices, this song, what's going on? It's such a gentle song. It's like I can feel it moving me to my soul. It's nothing like Excella's song. It's not trying to force me to give up. Is this... Is this... Kirika? And everyone else? I can feel it. I can feel everyone's hearts. I... I... Huh? I... <laughs> no! What am I doing? How could I let myself get so worked up over Excella's song? At this rate, it'll be just like... I can't let that happen here! Kirika and Sonya would... No, not just them! Emma and Primula! Everyone in the city would die! That can't happen! I won't let that happen! Never again! Yuma... Yuma... Dragon! Well done indeed. You held back my power. Did I... do it? I kept myself from... losing control? Be at peace, Yuma. You and your friends have done a fine job of wielding my power. Look around you. Is the ground scorched? No. Not a single leaf, not a single blade of grass is disturbed. You have changed my power. The power of a dragon. They did it! Everyone kept their promise! The triumph is not theirs alone. You have forged a conviction in your heart, enough to withstand my strength. The conviction to protect those precious to you, your friends, and the people of this city. Yeah, I understand that now. I'll never forget how this feels. Now, Yuma, calm your heart. Return to the tranquility you know well. Return to your friends. What I must say, what a pleasant song. How long has it been since I heard such sweet melody? Shy... thing... Huh? He's awake! Oh, what 
What a relief! Kirika, Sonia, everyone. We're in my room. I see. You all brought me here, huh? <laughs> Don't sweat it. Not that heavy. <laughs> My, yes, especially compared to Rin of what? Oh, Fromage, you know what happens to people who spread rumors, don't you? <sighs> I'm just glad you're okay. Thank you, everyone. Um... What's wrong, Yuma? I didn't hurt anyone, did I? Rest easy. You regained control before anything happened. Really? I'm so glad. <laughs> there you go, Yuma. Told you we'd be ready with a wake-up call. And see? We kept our word, didn't we? Yeah. I heard all of you reaching out. It's only thanks to you that I calmed down before it was too late. So, they got through to you after all. Of course, Marion. It was a beautiful, clear sound. And Rinna's performance was so soft and gentle. Oh! oh. <laughs> you charmer! You're gonna make me blush! And Kirika's voice made me feel so calm. Oh, truly? Yeah, through your song, I could feel you and everyone else reaching out to me. I could tell how worried you were. It was different from Excella's song. It felt so gentle. I see. You did hear us. I suppose that means... I have learned to see you for who you are. Yeah. Well, I should let you have some peace. I'll see you tomorrow, Yuma. Kirika. Well, we gotta get some rest too. You take it easy for a while. Okay. Thanks for stopping me, everyone. Good night. The power of the Shining Dragon has been unleashed further than ever before. That was a form even I hadn't seen. The awakening of the Seventh Harmonic. The birth of the Seventh Dragoneer. Although but a glimpse, I'm finally starting to see the path to the last song. And all of it revolves around this boy, Yuma. This can't be a coincidence. Perhaps all this arose from Yuma's power. A power beyond my sight, beyond my comprehension. Hmm. The only problem now is that Imperial Princess, and how to best use the goals of the Sanguine Church. I need to consider my next move. <sighs>